Hello engineers, welcome to another part of how to build and design a base for full design. Um, I installed a, a new script I already knew before, but I never used it for my bases. It's the fancy status display, version 2. Big screen here I used for cargo, for the different types of uh, the cargos I use, the component, ingot, or ice, and also here one for ammo. This shows very well. On this grid uh, you, you can really exact specify what do you want and how you want it to display. Now I take here for example, I will take here my supply cargo. Say also white no, bar. I can copy this. This one is supply. And now it shows my supply container also here. I set the size of the, the front front a little bit smaller so if this is um can show you my text what well, let's write this here. Because when it when, it's, when it takes this too too large, it's uh, scrolling. So I made this a little bit smaller. Every argument of the script are in the pro in, the, in the data of the programmable block, and also. I use this for the sci-fi button panel. My idea was to get an interactive button, interactive button panel like this here. With the WANs, it's uh, no problem. And just to show the, the difference on and off. But the script does not support uh, blocks like lights. So here it shows and it says here yeah, a little bit right nearby. This shows here yeah, unknown block and here is also a symbol of um, from a yeah like a any type of block, not a light, not really a light block because I made, made with a trick uh, it visible this is the year shown. For this setting this one here is for the winds. Yeah, no problem. You can also set here this position. That is a, the symbol is in the middle of the screen. And set the scale on the font size. And for the lines, I added the part health, where it says uh, shows the if the block is damaged or any kind. Then I get get here a symbol for the lights but not really a correct one, but the script isn't uh, originally not supported for show, show data, uh, show status of lights. Now set a different color, also here different text. So cannot read it, is that what I wanted to? But that's already interesting. What I else do it did is I added here. Okay, the connectors. Where you see on the SDS, you can see the, the status of the connectors and can if they are ready or uh, 
if they are connected you can unlock or lock them and here we got here the menu for the H2O2 control script and I use an old version of that script because um, the version 1.0 is um, not working anymore and but I, I before I didn't uh, did not use that be already before because the newer version or the 0 0.1 version was um, changing block names or rename blocks I don't like scripts which uh, rename blocks because um, often uh, I always use a lot of script scripts together and renaming blocks are a huge problem for those stuff I can know here okay I got no oxygen but I will add, add some oxygen farms and you can see here from all my events the status you can set the pressurize okay huh? turn it on and off this is for the generators and you can see the state of the um, hydrogen tanks hydrogen engines and I did not set them to the script because they are already here on the power control base got no thrusters <coughs> and this is their uh, ice cargo ice cargo is at the moment empty we can also see it, can see it here on this display here there are the oxygen tanks and the ones again the main screen of that script is in there this 0 0.6 version not implement no, yeah it's not there what else did I do I made here for like here for also here pretty fancy status display this is all for the lights for the vents like in the other room this is for the H2 engines and it shows here the field state and the frame shows if they are turned on and off on this side here what do you see there? it's for the connector and this one is for the samplers that can turn them on and off same I did here for the refineries also lights and vents I'm not sure if I make this for every button panel because one thing is, is it does not really support lights or like uh, other blocks like a map bay where you can just uh, uh, show a symbol the uh, current power screen if uh, uh, not spy power screen if they are turned on or off and for lights I think this is okay to turn then it's very the lights uh, got not an own interactive display and I also wait go here ah. I, I need to add lights here you made I made the medical station some patient ba beds 
some inventory placements. This is just a simple main control chair. On here the inventory display and the SDSOS. Without the screens uh, for the power control and the H2O2 control, the these screens are not really use, u useful in this room here. But everything else is also working. So I take a look in here. Here upstairs. I'm not sure if I really make uh, four control rooms. This um, would be a little bit too much. Maybe there will be like a cafeteria or something. And also, as I mentioned, this part here, this will be all separate floors. Maybe four crew rooms. Or something else. Now we are back. Now we got already here. Mm. Alright, here's also the toilet where I can <coughs> upload. Good. Well, but we need next. I think I need. I will need more. More solar panels, because uh, on the moon, uh, wind tur tur turbines are useless here. And maybe maybe some O2 farms. Well, I added on this side here. Oh, ah, oh, okay. Okay, I went. Whoa, all right. Now it's fine. Not it anymore. Hmm. I already knew this problem here with the size of the hitbox, but I thought this was um, only for the round windows. Okay, I can't. Glitch out there. Hmm. Not normally, you would not stay in this position there. So I read. Ah, the other room kind of better see what I. On the better reach status, where you can see. I'm losing uh, power because I'm uh, losing power. Um, I need more power than I'm making with the solar panels. I will need some more solar panels, and because uh, for standby, for standby, like if you are. Um, if I'm away on tra travel or something, the base should not run out of power. So, um, I will add some stuff for the outside, like more solar panels and some O2 farms, and I will make a little cutscene for that. So now here, I made some exterior stuff here, like here, uh, or two farms, and at the moment three more solar panels. I'm sure that will be definitely not enough. I think I can already see if there. 
No, nope. it's already in the output is higher than the input. I'm not sure if I may leave this in the star here or change it a bit because it's um, the solar panels here are a little bit low. They are easy to hide by shadows of the other grid blocks here. And I add here some decoration stuff like this is here on the off-road wheel and this one here with the this here um, this wasteland block because I already use here the wasteland windows so why not this one makes a little bit dust okay the next point will be defensive I need some turrets and I need uh, maybe here are some, some two turrets here on the top and some in the ground also I'm for this for these for the O2 farms it, it's not dramatic when they hit it in the in the, by the uh, attack but for the turrets they should be the conveyor system be a little bit more ammo so they don't can disconnect disconnect it too easily okay that's it for this episode see you soon